He did not want to sentence me to life, but he didn't want to do it unless there was a deal in place with the DA for me to plead guilty to something. So he wanted to make a deal to gain a conviction, but the DA was like, we already got one. He's got life. So the district attorney refused to make a deal. Normally, when the Supreme Court rules, it's against people in the system. And so they always say, well, the Supreme Court ruled, nothing to be done. But when the Supreme Court ruled here, the district attorneys fought tooth and nail not to apply it. So the district attorneys had the power to start basically releasing people or to re-sentence or have hearings and see who was qualified to get out. But they chose to still try to keep people in jail. Everyone knows exactly what happened and I didn't participate. Like, the problem is that legally it's a conviction. And we know and everyone says this is a wrong thing, like, but that's the way it is. And I think that's cowardly. I think we have to be courageous enough to say, and we have to hold our politicians accountable enough to say, if it's not right, we have to change it. People don't pay attention to that district attorney's race, but I know from bitter experience, like you could Google me, you could look up newspaper articles where the district attorney had in his power to say no, but he wouldn't just because. This is the position our office takes, convictions. We need to become educated on who these people are, not just the sound bites. We all need to participate in the district attorney's race. It's very important, and if we want change, it begins there.